Sor Rung the side returns and is the zone debit after the fallout of HBO, of course, where a lot of fighters um had to find a new network and Sor Rung Vasai has finally found his home here in the new network in the USA and he's gonna debit against um Juan Francisco Estrada in their much anticipated rematch after a whole year, of course. Like this matchup their first matchup took place in February last year and it was a very close and competitive fight, of course, which had Rung Vasai edging the fight by a decision i'm not i don't remember if it was a split decision or a unanimous decision i just knew that it was a very close fight and personally i edged rung Vasai winning it and i could also see somebody saying why they would think that juan won it as well and before it i thought it would be a very um very grueling fight to the point where like a lot of them would both of them would get knocked down at times so both guys are very tough so that their first fight demonstrated of course and it's going to be interesting to see like what kind of adjustments they make and as you can see here Jesse Vargas is returning on the card not sure who his opponent is going to be a lot of people spec speculated that it would be Kel Brook but it seems that the fight couldn't be made of course I'll leave that up to people to interpret or like research and say to see like what happened in those negotiations. So it is what it is. But anyways, this fight, the rematch is going to be interesting. And the reason I say this is because Sor hadn't fought like this rematch was supposed to take place last year around summertime or the fall but it couldn't really get made because, like, Sor Rung Vasai, I think, was going through a hard time last year because of relationship issues. So I'm not sure, like, how deep it was, but it really affected him a lot. And he, he wanted to also make some title defenses over there in Thailand. And a, lot, a couple of them were aired. One was, like, a first-round knockout, as far as I can remember. And then the fight after that, it was a close decision. A lot of people were saying, I'm not so sure. Like, I haven't watched that fight. A lot of people say that it was a tough fight for Rung Basai. So I'm going to have to check that one out as soon as I do film study for this fight. And after that fight, Jerwin and Cajas was in, was in there during that time. And they were supposed to be in negotiations for a unification bout. But unfortunately, that couldn't um, come to fruition because of other things that go on in the sport of boxing. You know how it is. But in terms of this fight and what could happen, like Sor Rung Masai, he, he m mentioned in a quote that every time he trains, every fight, he trains even harder, you know, in terms of like doubling up his work. Let's say if he was training on the bag for like an hour, he's going to put it to two hours. And if he was going to do like 100 pushups, he's going to do 200 pushups. You know, if you get you already know what I mean when I say that when he doubles up every time that he's about to fight somebody good or like another opponent you know that's like in the echelon of a championship level fighter you know like Juan Francisco Estrada of course and Roman Gonzalez so it's gonna be interesting to see like if he's gonna make that type of adjustment in this fight of course like if he still has that same mentality as he did last year when he said that and as for Juan he has been um, trying to feel himself out in terms of the weights, you know, because he did make a fight at 118 pounds. I'm not so sure. Like, I remember that it was way higher than 115. And he's been trying to find his ideal weight throughout his entire career. And I think personally it should be 115 pounds because there's a lot of competition here. And he really um, makes a good account of himself in this division. And I think he makes it very competitive for anyone, you know. And I think he can be a champion, win or lose, against Rung Vasai, even after that. So, personally, I think, in terms of what these guys need to do in this fight, I think Rung Vasai already has some of the tools needed. And Juan Francisco Estrada, I think he needs to box a little bit more, not get too roughed up in the exchanges. 
and just basically box and as for Rungvisai, he may just have to double up his work weight work rate that that's basically it of course but i can't really say like what kind of uh, angles that they need to adjust in order to um avoid those kind of circumstances that they had to go through you know because Rungvisai did land a lot of nasty body shots on him and Juan Francisco Estrada was landing some good counters here and there. So they may have to make some tweaks to their style in terms of that. So you never know because I, I picked Juan Francisco Estrada to beat Sor Rungvisai last year. And that really didn't come to fruition. So I'm not sure like who to pick in this fight. And I'll try, I'll probably try to make that prediction and breakdown thing a little bit more detailed when fight week approaches of course so it is going to be interesting to dissect this fight punch for punch and see what kind of adjustments they can make and hopefully there's a decisive thing you know like i really hope this fight doesn't go to 12 rounds because like we i'm a, like personally in my opinion i'm already tired of these like close competitive fights where you have a lot of people arguing at the end of who won the fight or like they start throwing the word robbery when it clearly wasn't a robbery. It was just a very close fight. I just prefer for something to be more decisive, of course. So hopefully we get that in the fight. But anyways, those are my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what y'all think. How do you think this fight is going to go? Just give me your brief outline. You don't got to give me your prediction or a breakdown, full breakdown of it too much. Just tell me like what kind of adjustments both fighters can make but anyways those are my thoughts on the fight let me know what y'all think i'm out